one of the best kept secrets about Jamaica is that the island is a prime surfing location, second only to Puerto Rico in the Caribbean region. Well, that secret is now out and surfers the world over are traveling to the island in search of year-round wave conditions that make the eastern coast a surfer's paradise. From Boston Bay in Portland to the Palisados Lighthouse in St. Andrew, surfers congregate to hunt the optimal conditions of wind direction, wave height and underwater topography. They paddle out about 60 meters to lay in wait the perfect wave. Surfing is not new to Jamaica. People have been surfing here for decades. In the 1960s, a young Billy Wilmot began swimming in the massive waves outside his backyard in Bull Bay, where he still lives. Surfing was just a natural progression. My mother never had no problem with me as a baby being in the sea and in the water from a baby. I don't remember going or seeing the sea for the first time or going in the sea for the first time or anything like that. And in the same way, I don't remember learning to walk. I don't remember learning to swim. This is Old Harbor Bay, a traditional fishing village on Jamaica's southeast coast. The fish and produce market here serve many local communities. Indeed, the catch is so highly valued that some people travel as far as 25 miles and more to purchase freshly caught fish. Old Harbor Bay is not to be confused with the town of Old Harbor, three miles inland, which dates back to the early days of Jamaica's colonial past. Today, this coastline, the livelihood of many, and a critical food source for many more, is under threat as the beach itself erodes. Wave attenuation devices, or WADs, are pyramid-shaped hollow concrete structures that rebuild beaches by trapping the sand that float in the water as tides ebb and flow. Over time, the sand accumulates until the beach is completely rebuilt. So we will custom make them for different areas. For this one, we chose this size because we'll be using them relatively close to shore. But if you notice, they have triangular holes in them, which actually let the water flow through. So they're not actually blocking the water. There will be no problem with stagnation. And it will allow the sand to move in freely. And what we're going to see is the sand start to build up rapidly on the inside of them. Dance, at once artistic, athletic and spiritual, is the most obvious manifestation of Jamaica's cultural identity. One of the icons of Jamaican dance is Lantoinette Steins, founder of the Lakadco Dance Company and creator of the indigenous Lantec dance technique. Lantoinette is a classically trained dancer from the lineage of renowned dance teachers Avi Baxter and Alma Marquien. She studied dance in New York and danced with the Pacey Bethel Company. After much longing for Jamaica, Lantoinette returned home to teach and choreograph in her unique Afrocentric style. We have been trained in European consciousness for so long in many, in many of our areas, yet against all that, we as Jamaicans are rich with culture, rich with information. And so I believe that for me, cultural identity is important. And I have found a way over years to develop a technique called Lantec. And a technique means a movement structure specific to a training procedure. Because ballet is ballet, Graham is Graham, all these various techniques named after their creators are specific movements that are created for a, a way of training the body. 